Okay, so the Galaxy S23 is practically the best smartphone, in my opinion, that money can buy, and here's why. Now, of course, this is a Galaxy phone or an Android phone, and you might may or may not be opposed to that, so this might not even be an option for you. Um, you might want to pick up something like an iPhone 13 mini, which is outdated by now, or a Galaxy or an iPhone SE, which personally is like the worst iPhone ever, and I do not recommend buying any of the SEs unless you're like absolutely like sat on having a physical home button and just will not be able to learn swipe gestures. Um, so yeah, this is, in my opinion, the Galaxy, or the Galaxy S23 is the best smartphone, um, and my main thing about it is the cameras, because the Galaxy S23 has the same, like, quality as the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and I would say the same as the Galaxy, or as the iPhone 15 Pro, um, I was gonna say the Pro Max, but this year it actually is something different with the Pro Max, and there was a periscope zoom, camera which unfortunately this thing does not have it just caps out at 30 but it still is good zoom so there's no complaints about that um so i've been able to grab some really good high quality pictures in 50 megapixel resolution um and i will put them on screen for you guys to see so let's get to that So cameras, they're definitely not going to let you down. Um, it has a main 50 megapixel sensor, which is just slightly higher than the iPhone 15, but of course megapixels don't count. It's how the processing is, and as you saw, um, hopefully you agreed, that the pictures from the Galaxy S23 is, are really good. Um, and then the next thing is One UI. So Samsung's One UI 6, which is based on Android's 14, is probably like literally my favorite operating system. And yes, I do have iPhones, so... Um, you can't say that, oh, you're just an Android fanboy and you're just saying only what um, you think is true. I have used iOS 17 and trust me, I prefer Android, or Android 14 better. And it's not that Android or iOS 16 is bad. Um, it's just personally not my favorite. And it definitely has a lot of issues um, for me personally, customization. And it's just not the superior um, operating system in my opinion. But obviously, everyone has their own, you know, prefer preferences um, and stuff. So the next thing is, like, just, like, performance. It's incredible. Um, so the Galaxy S23 has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, uh, or 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, which is Samsung's, you know, most powerful chip. And it is a custom version of Qualcomm, Qualcomm's, I can never say that right, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Um, it's, like, their own custom version that, like, is, I would say the equivalent of the Galaxy S20, or, um, the, why do I keep saying Galaxy? The iPhone, uh, 14 Pro's A16 Bionic. Um, keep in mind that this is a year old, literally about to get replaced in three weeks on the 17th of January, so this is last year's phone. Um, and then the new S24 is going to outpower the iPhone with its A17 Pro chip. Um, so yeah, just keep in mind that this is a year old phone. And battery life, you're getting great performance for battery life. Um, it has been at 45, and I've filmed three videos with this thing so far. And I'm actually going to do a battery life drain literally right after this video once it charges up to 100%. Versus its predecessor, the Galaxy S23 FE. Um, so definitely stick around for the end of the video to find out where you can locate that video. Um, yeah, so for performance, for battery, and, you know, just overall performance, it's really great. Um, battery life, it can get you well past a day, if not even two days, maybe like two and a half days of light use, and definitely past a day of, like, heavy use, like watching YouTube, or, I don't know, scrolling through TikTok, or whatever you do on your phone. Taking pictures, uh, literally drains, like, zero battery. Um, so yeah, um, for this size, the Galaxy S23 is definitely a great phone. And especially now that it is a year old, its price has gone down. So let's see. Galaxy S23. 
Um, you can pick it up uh, at T-Mobile um, during this holiday season, and the same thing with Ryzen. Um, and apparently you can get it as low as $199 at, from Samsung. I'm assuming that is with a trade-in. I'll continue. Yes, I'm in. It shows how much I use Chrome. Um, let's pause or skip to the part where I actually see what's on the page. Okay, so Galaxy S23, S23 Plus. Okay. So let's do without trade-in. Okay, so it's $7.99 unlocked. And that is its... So with its most... Okay. So you're looking at 859 So let's pull up... Let's pull up iPhone 15. And as I go on this... Go, or before I go on with this review, I'm going to say I am actually technically an Apple user for, like, 2023. Um, the iPhone 14 Pro Max was my main phone, and then I switched with the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and never going back. Uh, I'll probably get another iPhone, obviously. Um, iPhone 15, uh, at least 15 Pro. Um, so, it's definitely not... Um, like, you know, just an Android, lifelong Android user, which I guess I kind of am, but I've definitely been rocking an iPhone for this whole year, practically, literally. Um, I do have Apple products, obviously, currently, um, but I just choose to use Androids just instead. So, okay, so iPhone 15, so with a lower storage capacity, I know, because um, I looked into buying the iPhone 15, but I ended up, you know, pros better, always. Um, so let's go ahead and just load this. Okay, um, which is best for you? 15, oops, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, Apple's page is not wanting to work today. Let's choose green. Uh, same, what did I want? The 200, yeah, 256 gigabytes. So as you can see, Galaxy S23 is... 859 while the iphone 15 is 899 so it is just slightly less than the iphone 15 pro or 15 i keep going to say pro so it's definitely the same price and i think personally you're getting um a better package than the iphone 15 plus um or 15 um be just because uh it is smaller slightly not by much but it is definitely smaller and you're getting a lot more features you're getting a better ui system um, and just, honestly, more, like, overall features. It's going to get a lot of AI features with One UI 6 after the S24 is released in 21 days. I'm excited for that. So, yeah. Um, I can definitely recommend the Galaxy S23 to those of you who are, like, interested in picking this device up. Um, but if you're willing and able to hold off for the Galaxy S24... I would definitely recommend doing that, but the Galaxy S23 definitely stands strong after just about a year of its release, and is definitely my main pick for a small phone of 2023. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos, and I will catch you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. See you then.